In this video, I'd like to demonstrate on how to perform a direct extraction. The direct extraction task lets us extract records from a database that meets specified criteria and output those records to a separate database. This lets us isolate specific records for further testing and analysis. We can use direct extraction to perform a single extraction on a database or up to 50 separate extractions with a single pass through the database. We will use the equation editor to define our extraction criteria. In order to perform an extraction, we first must select the file we want to perform the extraction on. In this example, I'm going to use the sample files that come with IDEA, and I'm going to use it the sample bank transactions. As we can see, there is an amount field within this file. I'm going to do two extractions. One, I want all amounts larger than 5,000, and in the second extraction, I want all amounts less than 5,000. In order to perform the extraction, we must select the analysis ribbon and then click on direct. This brings up the direct extraction dialog. First thing we can enter is the file name. As I want all items larger than 5,000, I will just call this high value. I will then click on the calculator icon that brings up the equation editor that allows us to enter in our equation. From here, we must first select the field we want to do the analysis on or the extraction on. In this instance, I want to do it on the amount field. There's two ways that I can enter in the amount field. One, I can go down and just click on it, select it and double click. Or I can just start typing the name of it and the equation editor will bring up a list of the fields that match what I'm typing. In this instance, I'm typing AM, it shows me the amount field. So I can just hit enter and I'll enter in that field. After that, I want amounts greater than 5,000. So I can just type this in. And once that's complete, I can click on the validate to make sure that there's no syntax errors within the equation. And then after that, I can click on validate and exit. And this brings us back to the direct extraction dialog. Since I also want to look at items less than 5,000, I can click on number two and enter in a name. Again, I'll just call it low value. Also, instead of using the equation editor, if it's a simple extraction or simple criteria, I don't have to necessarily use the equation editor. I can just click on the criteria and just type it in and saying amount less than minus 5,000. So once we've completed that, and as I said at the, the start, we can actually enter up to 50 different extractions and they'd be all performed on one pass. So it's a quick way of doing multiple extractions all at the same time. Once I'm completed, I click on OK. IDEA performs the task. It opens up automatically my first extraction, which was the high value. From here we can see that I have extracted everything over 5,000. And it's also created another file called low value. And here I can see that I've extracted everything that is less than 5,000. So a direct extraction is quite simple to use in IDEA, as we can see. And thank you very much for listening to this video.